Today we're going to be unboxing the scariest Sasuke Susano statue on the market. That's right, today we are unboxing a licensed statue made by the team over at Hex Collectibles. This is my first statue showcased by them on the channel, my second to own, and most certainly not the last we'll see on here. In fact, their holy grail of Agara statue just went up for pre-order, so be sure to snag that before it sells out. But you came here to see Sasuke featuring his skeletal Susano form, so without delay, let's do this. <laughs> Kicking it off, we have the Sasuke color themed box. On the top of the box, we'll find a cutout in theirs. The largest envelope I've ever seen. Here's the instruction manual. You can also see where are the parts are in the box. This is the certificate of authenticity and then the giant amazing art print that they did provide for you. This is definitely one I'd want to get framed. On the bottom of the base, we'll see 800 were made and mine is number 742. On the front here, we're gonna focus on getting some Susano effect pieces installed. Now, I gotta ask you, how do you pronounce it? Is it option A, Susano, or option B, Susano? I am not the pronunciation police, but I'm definitely torn on which one to say. I always grew up saying option A myself. On this bottom effect piece, you'll see the color white is painted. Now, other effect pieces will have different colors, so you'll know exactly where to put it on the statue. A really nice touch. Not many studios do that. Here is more of a piece that belongs to the diorama that they did sculpt separately. We'll see a notch on the back where an effect piece will key into there. Here is that effect piece, and I love the fact that the colors on here go from a deep dark purple all the way up to that more light colored purple on the tip. Definitely a lot of effect pieces sculpted separately, which is what you want. Now we have the Susana hands coming up. I love how they're split in two. We have this notch on the very front where it's going to key into the base. And let me just say, I've unboxed a lot of statues. The clear resin on this statue is one of the best that I've ever seen from any company out there. This piece is definitely interesting in that it only holds by that notch alone, friction, and no steel rod, no magnet, and later on, the rest of the Susano will mount it or hold it into place. And the stage is set for the bottom half of the statue. Definitely a lot more going on up top that I can't wait to jump into. Let's see it now. Here's the ridiculously freaky top half with the rib cage, the spinal cord at the very bottom of that. We'll see a large notch and a steel rod. That's gonna really be necessary in mounting this large piece to the statue, all hollow inside as well. If you follow the channel, you know that I love custom LEDs in statues, so a hollow cavity in the chest means we're gonna get to have some fun later. On the right side of the shoulder, we'll see this is the last of the effect particles sculpted separately and it connects with a magnet. And then we have the head, or I guess the skull technically. One thing I will say is I believe collectors did have some issues with the teeth at first. They were a little bit larger than we're used to seeing in the manga or anime, but it fades away over time as we install other parts. They definitely captured how evil this form was when Sasuke first whipped this out in the series with the way they sculpted everything. And one thing to note, underneath the skull, it doesn't connect with a magnet. Again, just friction holds it into place. And that's awesome because you would be able to easily see the magnet in the head if they did put that in there. So again, another amazing engineering decision that the studio decided to go with. Now it's time for the other arm. First off, we will see it is holding something in its hand. There is a larger piece that we'll install afterwards, but all the crazy little details they packed into the knuckles, the fists. We had the little, I believe it's called the tendon that's connecting the bones together. Crazy, they actually sculpted that in there too. Here is the sword it will be holding in its hand, and I love that it is shaded a little bit differently because it helps take away and make it so it's not just a giant purple resin blob. That's one thing I'll definitely commend them for is the use of shading all throughout the statue to bring out different details. I've seen a few skeletal statues before, but this one for sure takes the cake, no doubt being the best quality and also, again, a natural feeling statue I've seen. Now, we have some goodies to go over before we jump into Sasuke. Here is the addition size coin. On the front, we'll see him. On the back, again, we'll see that addition size number, the hex logo, and also a cool little case you can stick it in if you want to. They also included this metallic art card. Now on the back, there's some details on how you can redeem something on their website. I need to look into this one a little more, but I'll take a look at that later. Because I need to show you Sasuke, what a masterful job they did. A very dynamic pose, you can see. He's gonna be mounted with one foot, a peg, a steel rod. His outfit is perfectly done. Now, one thing I'll mention is there isn't any textures done for this statue. Sometimes they do that, but I will say for one eight scale statues, which that's what this statue is, you don't normally see a lot of texturing on there. 
The front part of his rope belt was sculpted separately. Love to see that so it doesn't break during shipping. And here is one of the two head sculpts they included. Thankfully, I'm going to say they did include a second one. Not a fan of this one. Tired, sad, depressed looking. And this is on a bust stand they included where you can keep that next to the statue if you want. Usually, I just keep it packed away back in the statue. But let's see what this looks like swapped out. Maybe I'm wrong here, but I think the second one is definitely the go-to. If anybody likes the first one, definitely let me know. On the back of the statue, also, they had the sword sculpt that just slides into place. And let me introduce one of the craziest Chidori's I've ever seen sculpted. One giant piece safely packed. They did such a great job with that one. We'll see a magnet right there where the elbow joint around about is. And that connects right to the arm into place and adds a whole other layer of awesomeness to the statue. I mentioned before I love custom LEDs, so let's dim the lights. Uh, yeah, what do you think? That looks better with LEDs. We'll turn them off later so you can be the judge of that, but definitely epic looking. I love the effect that we chose for this one as well, but just it's nothing more than some LED strips in the rib cage. I love cards and next to statues, so the Caillou UR Sasuke is going to be the winner that I'm going to display next to this one. So much fun sharing this statue with everyone today. And if you also enjoyed this video, I think you enjoyed this one by Third Eye, which is Sasuke and his Kieran ability. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.